गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स एंड जय हिंद नाउ टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू फाइनलाइज और गोइंग टू नाउ गिव द फाइनल टच ऑफ दिस चैप्टर द थ्री ऑर्डर्स अंडरस्टैंड स्टूडेंट सो फॉर यू हैव स्टडीड हाउ द न्यू सोशल सिगमेंट्स और इमर्स इन द यूरोपियन सोसाइटी and now we see that we how this uh, trade and commerce or the monetary system developed uh, in the european countries and uh, this led uh, towards the destruction of the feudal system that no doubt the circulation of the money and the expansion of the trade and commerce understand expansion in the trade and commerce or this uh, all understand no doubt uh, uh, just a uh, इकोनॉमिक प्रोसेस सिस्टम how the king now emerged and now king started to form the absolutism to form their absolute power or the rules understand and and they begin to maintain the their or uh, their standing army understand and now they the kings were not dependent at all on the feudal lords and kings now uh, we have seen that how the king now started started the raising the money by the taxation system and this the taxation system was set up okay for a constant uh, maintenance of the uh, coffers or the constant maintenance of the king's income and the state income uh, so that the vast uh, bureaucratic system and as well as vast bureaucratic system and as well as uh, the uh, vast army could be the maintained understand the students we see now we know that you understand this led to the uh, destruction of the feudal system i have already mentioned that if this uh, uh, now these uh, feudal lords uh, tactfully now begin to now shift it into the new uh, political structure or uh, in the new administrative structure and they again but uh, uh, there were certain changes the certain changes which happened in this new system those certain system uh, certain uh, just fact was that the king now began to maintain the courtiers around him understand the kings now uh, maintain the court uh, started the maintaining the court understand and the king now became the absolute power Understand absolute power, and now the king was not a dependent on the on the power and the on the forces of the lords, feudal lords. The king was not now dependent at all. And the more over the students, now we see that you now the relationship of the monarchs with powerful needed cooperation of those who could command the authority. So the the kings now. king was not needed understand our dependent now on the feudal lords but the kings had to be the maintain the good relations with those understand who could now maintain the authority and command the authority in the states understand so now we see that a new era begin in this political system and now and we also see that in the non feudal system rulers thus made the space and now one thing was the very uh, uh, well characteristics of that you uh, know the non feudal elements had no uh, ha- uh, non feudal elements who had no any space or any uh, uh, room in the administrative structure now they begin to non feudal elements now got the opportunity got the opportunity in getting the jobs okay so now for the students we see that in this process or in this uh, process 
in the process of the social changes or in course of the uh, process of the economic changes and moreover the political changes. Understand? The now a vast change happened. Later history of France and England to be the same. The further we are the going to see that the how the later history of the England and the France uh, shaped, uh, shaped uh, or the way uh, shaping of these uh, two countries' uh, history was completely based on the uh, structural change uh, changes which had been the uh, 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 happening uh, happening in the power structure. Understand? Power structure was completely changed, and in the reign of the child king Louis. Uh, 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 Louis XII. Understand Louis XII of the France uh, in uh, in uh, 1614. Understand a meeting was held uh, of the French uh, uh, consultative assembly. A meeting was held. Now the when the child king Louis uh, Louis XII. Understand now of the France uh, in uh, 1614. A meeting was convened there. Understand or this. Uh, Meeting was named as a cons French consultative uh, consultative uh, assembly. French French consultative assembly. This meeting was called as and moreover and the known as the status general. It is known as the states general. Understand? We know very well if you would have studied because the uh, the French Revolution uh, began when the uh, uh, began. Or a event of status generals, generals meeting where why the Louis sixteen understand to in connection with the imposing the tax upon the uh, upon the first state and the second state. He had convened a meeting of the states general. Understand that that where the certain differences crop up between the uh, crop up regarding the procedures and the procedures. Uh, Procedures there of the uh, status general. Understand? So as a result, what happened? We know very well that the third state they completely boycotted. Understand? And now in the uh, uh, yeah, in the tennis court where they took the shelter and where they sat and the sewer and took the oath that they would not back to their homes eh, until they would uh, uh, they would uh, make a constitution. Make a such a constitution which will completely uh, now confine and limit the uh, power and the authority of the uh, Louis XVI. Understand? And they now where they they framed a, uh, a constitution. Understand? They started the framing a constitution, and that meeting began to be the called uh, as a status uh, as a that uh, states generals was uh, changed the name there or uh, and the known. As a national assembly, understand. So now, students, I am talking about that in the France. The first step, uh, now assembly, legislature assembly was formed and the known as the states general. Understand? And this states general, general, and the, it's had the uh, a representative from the three uh, uh, classes and states: first state, second state, and the third state. They were the member or the collectively. All the uh, representatives had collectively the uh, value of the one vote. Understand? Collectively, or in three states order, clergy, nobility, and the rest, they were the member in this uh, 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 general assembly. They were the member of this general assembly, and moreover, nobility and state. After this, uh, it was not the summoned again for the nearly the two century. After this meeting. Understand that held in the 1614. Understand after that, uh, never this meeting was. Although Louis XIV became the so absolute and the uh, so aristocrat or the autocrat that he used to tell that I am the state. What I tell that is the law. What I tell uh, uh, tell that is the justice. What is the what I tell and the want. And exercise that is the executives. The now entire power in he, Louis XIV inherited, and he began to now post it, post that, that I am the state. Understand? So now we can say, uh, see that uh, how the a, a emerging 
रिप्रेजेंटेटिव बॉडी वाज निप डाउन अंडरस्टैंड और द निप डाउन और अगेन द होल पावर बिगिन टू बी द एक्सरसाइज्ड और द टेकन ओवर बाय द बाय द किंग्स एंड द मोनार्क्स एंड मोनार्क्स नो डाउट बिकेम द बिकेम और द मोनार्क्स नाउ इमर्ज्ड एज द एब्सोल्यूट एंड द ऑटोक्रेटिक ऑटोक्रेट्स अंडरस्टैंड बिगिन टू बी द एंड मोर ओवर we can say ki that the till the 1789 because the king did not want to share the power with the three orders one thing is that the king uh, never wanted to uh, wanted to share his power with the other three states understand three states the king now wanted to exercise his own own power and the own authority so this was the a question of the and the clashes between the legislature and the monarchs legislative body although these were the legislative body understand to so show that they had the strong contest between the monarchs and the legislative body more over students what happened let's come to the england what was the process and the uh, a structural change was happening in the british history we shall see that here what happened england was very different even before the even before the norman conquest england was very different norman conquest we know that in norman they now made the invasion and from the france understand they crossed the british channel and captured the part of the england and they defeated the saxons and the Uh, angles angles and saxons were defeated by the normans and but even then even then the anglo saxons okay angles and the saxons both had a, had a great council they had the great council and which uh, the king had to consult uh, before the imposing any tax and the king norman king had to consult the anglo sax Saxon, uh, Saxons, Anglo's, Saxon uh, Council, the uh, consul, consultative uh, body. They have the king had to uh, consult the consultative body. Understand? In case of uh, or uh, in case of uh, the imposition of the new tax or the increasing the tax. Understand? Or the raising the tax. In that connections, the king had to be the Norman king. Had to be the had to now uh, make the consultations uh, uh, with this uh, body. Understand? And the students, which the king uh, consulted before the imposing, this developed uh, into what was called the parliament. And this a uh, Anglo-Saxon uh, great council later on turned uh, or the named as a parliament, as a parliament. Understand? This is the uh, we know that if the British. Uh, the britain is the, has been the uh, now just like the mother of the parliamentary system he were the very systematically or in a very uh, uh, a step by a, a, a gradual development of the great parliamentary system happened there now and the more uh, over a students now this uh, this uh, developed uh, into what the called the parliament and within the consistent this parliament was no doubt consisted of the two houses the first the house of commons and the second the house of lords understand the so now here the house of lords the members of which were the lords house of lords members were the lords the feudal lords and the moreover which were the lords and the clergy in the house of the lords the members were members belong to the lords and the as well as the clergy and the house of commons house of commons representative representative town and ruler area the the peoples of the uh, towns and ruler area were represented in the house of commons understand so now just like in india we know very well we have the two chambers also okay the parliament having the uh, two ch chambers the lok sabha and the rajya sabha the uh, Uh, Rajya Sabha is called Council of Estates. Lok Sabha is called the House of Peoples. Understand? And also in the name of the Lower Chamber and the Rajya Sabha is also called as the Upper Chamber. 
and the uh, Lok Sabha is called as the lower chamber. So now, through these names, uh, we have the, or in the uh, America, United States America, the uh, legislative body is called as the Congress, understand? And the second house, understand? Second house is the called as the Senate, understand? So you, have, you, have, you are studying very well in the political science, I suppose, eh? understand? So now, students, eh, here the, in England, the two houses were constituted there, uh, uh, the parliament was constituted of the two houses, consisted of the House of Commons and the House of Lords. House of Commons, the ruler and the urban members were there from the common man and the House of Lords, the particularly the members were uh, from the Lords family or as well as the clergy. Understand? So these two houses were the representative body of the representative England, the House of Commons, representative towns and ruler, King Charles I. But this uh, parliament also became the victim of the a uh, victim of the aspiration, the high ambitious king and the absolute kings. Now the, it is a, now the King Charles I, understand, ruled uh, for 11 years uh, without the calling the parliament. Charles I, uh, now he neglected and, uh, and the, abandoned the parliament uh, having without consultations for the 11 years. Understand? And then he did not consult it. So the parliament and the, since then, understand the parliament and the and the house of uh, uh, parliament and the kings and the monarchs now came into the conflict. The, they uh, came got into the conflict for a long time. Understand there had been a tussle. There had been the power tussles between the parliament and the and the monarchs. Understand this is the and regarding the uh, uh, having the uh, having the superiority or the dominance over the in the political arena, understand? The students now, when was the first to call it? Here the when he was the first to call it, the when the Charles first was there. Now he was a uh, emphasized to call it because he needed the money, understand? And the money could not be the imposed. And any new tax could not be the imposed without the consultation of the parliament, without the consent of the parliament. That could not be the money could not be the raised. A section of the parliament decided to go to the war against him, and the, a certain section of the parliament members they decided to go on war against the Charles or against the king. Now they became the very violent and the revolutionary. Understand? And moreover, and the later executed uh, him, or later the Charles first was executed. Understand? And this was the and the established a republic. And then after after the Charles first, a republican government was formed. Means the means what? Means the no monarchy system, no king or any dynastical order would uh, rule over the England. Understand? Now the head of the state will be the elected directly or indirectly by the common man. Understand? This uh, republic was established there. But uh, this could not be the rest and continued further. further. And here, this uh, did not uh, now uh, last uh, very long. This uh, long. And, uh, uh, and the monarchy was uh, restored. Or again the monarchy system was uh, restored in the British, uh, uh, British political system. Uh, but uh, but on the conditions that parliament would be the called uh, regularly. But uh, again, the monarchy system was restored. Understand? Or but uh, one condition had been the put forward put forward that uh, regularly, okay, the monarch will monarch would uh, convene the parliament and consult the parliament. Understand? Without the consultation of parliament, no decisions can be not taken could be the taken. Understand? So again, the restoration of uh, the monarchy system, uh, 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 monarchy system, uh, okay, uh, restorations were occurred in the England. And moreover, today if you see the uh, history, now today, France has a, a republic form of the government. We see that, you know, the France uh, by the uh, three revolutions in the 1789, 
in the 1830 or in 1800 uh, or 1848 the france now passed it and gone through the three great revolution which had the very deep impact on the political social or economic system uh, within the france and as well as the the rest of the europe understand so now the france ultimately uh, sometimes france was under the constitutional monarchy sometimes under the monarchy system and the ultimately the france accepted the republican form of the government in which there will be the no any room for the dynastical order understand no dynasties would rule in the france understand or ultimately the head of the state would be the elected person directly or indirectly by the common man understand the so in this way that this kind of the government is called as the republican form of the government this kind of the government eh, where the uh, head of the state and the sovereign is elected elected by the common man whether it is a directly or indirectly and there we there and there uh, and there is no any any dynastical order no king or the head of the states would not be the any hereditary person understand uh, who would who would in order draw the authority from his uh, ancestors and the from his descendants understand so now uh, uh, the uh, this uh, system uh, began to be the called as a republican system okay and the where the uh, where the uh, successor draws understand draws the power from his uh, 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 descendants or the from his uh, from his ancestors and forefathers okay and uh, they get the authority this kind of the government is called as the as the monarchical system understand the students now the france was declared as the or england was declared as the monarchy system understand although there is a monarchy but the king had no the rights there it is said that one of the uh, the political thinkers uh, now told that uh, if the king can do no wrong understand in the british parliament the king can do no wrong it means that the king had uh, no power king is toothless understand or king had no power understand that those who had no power they they can't do the wrong understand so, so that it is said rightly said the king can do no wrong understand the, uh, the british uh, king had the no power he is the ceremonial, he is the natural, he is the symbolic head of the uh, British uh, society or the British uh, nation. He is the symbolic or the ceremonial head of the British nation. Okay, like the, in our uh, country, the president, all the president is not the uh, any dynastical person or the no any monarch. He is the he, he, he represents the republican system. Understand? A republican system. Okay, but he he, he exercises the no actual power. The real power of the uh, our, in our country now rests with the uh, prime minister. He is the head of the government, but the president is the head of the state. President is the head of the state. Prime minister is the head of the government, and who exercises the actual power on behalf of the president of India in the name of the president of India? All powers is now exercised by the prime minister of India. Understand, the students. Now we see that eh, in our, uh, in our uh, natural head, the president is just like the rubber stamp. Uh, what the decisions the uh, prime minister and his council of minister takes, the president had to be the now give the consent over that. Understand? Uh, now somebody critics say that he is just like the rubber stamp. He is the only natural head, ceremonial head. Understand? And he uh, does not uh, he uh, he or she does not exercise the uh, actual power and the actual rule over the our country as students now we have seen so far that uh, we are looking uh, so far understand uh, how the parliamentary system the three orders is uh, about to end understand i suppose that uh, you would have uh, uh, now well understand the uh, this topic uh, this topic we you have uh, understood the uh, well understood about that now the next uh, students uh, i have to be the talk uh, about the or the regarding the map work understand we are the going to uh, just see the map one thing is that be very clear understand 
a map question will be the given understand or that question will be the for example or uh, on the given outline map of the world understand on the given outline map of the world and on that map on that map five numbers will be the indicated five number 1 to uh, a point it understand a point will be there and that will be the a place that will be the a town that will be the uh, uh, ocean that may be the gulf that may be the red sea that may be the arabian sea that may be may be the uh, mediterranean sea black sea caspian sea understand now or or town egypt uh basra makka one two three four five only each site where the one point will be the given on the map map will be the blank and on that map understand point will be the given one point and one will be the written again at or other places that will be the city any city any place where the dot will be the given and the beside the dot that written the two again three number the a now a point will be the there or three will be the written there again a dot will be and four number will be the given there again five dot and five the five number will be the there okay five number will be the written there now five places have been the indicated on a blank outline map of india like the one one addressing the one city two addressing the other city three at three denotes to the other city four associate with the other city five related to the other city right now what you will have to do further here the question will be a understand question that is the question and you will have to identify the add the one one a dot is there and written one which city is that whether this is the makkah whether this is the madina whether this is the aden whether this is the uh, uh, with, uh, this is the baghdad whether this is the yemen whether this is the egypt whether this is the sicily whether this is the understand student so now you have to identify if you write okay that will be the city 1 2 3 4 5 city will be the differently indicated okay then after the here the see the answer and the choose the identify the place and a b c d four set is there a a basra 1 dash basra 2 kufa 3 makka 4 madina 5 egypt okay again b a 1 dash any other city persia iran iran b nishapur c turkistan d d indus valley river understand a b c d e e understand of uh, e of uh, rome 
again come to the C sets. Set C. Again the five cities. A A for some city, B for other city, C for uh, A for one city, two for other city, three for other city, four for city, five for other city. D again. A for Mac D one for Mecca, two for Medina, three for Egypt, four for Mediterranean Sea, five for five for Persian Gulf. Understand? These places will be the indicated, and number will be the. So you have to A B C D. In each or the set of the five places had been given, a for a one for this, two for these cities, C for the. You have to be the choose, and now A, B, C, D. One set is correctly correctly written. One for something, two for something, three for something. That is the correctly. For example. So you have to be the now point or the tick the D or A B C is the incorrectly written. But you have to identify ki which set set A B C D which set is the correctly matched. One actually one for Medina is there. B two for Egypt is right. See if you are recognize it very well. If you recognize the well, so you have to be the point of that. Understand? So this way, in this way, uh, that uh, questions will be the asked, and you have to be the recognized a correct set. Okay, uh, students, time is uh, about to up. So tomorrow, I shall uh, again uh, some uh, a few minutes. I will dedicate for this map. I will bring a map before you here, and then after. I will again discuss it for the few minutes. Then after, I will advance my further study. Thank you very much.